David Crane, Chief Prosecutor, Special Court for Sierra Leone. The impression that the name Robert Jackson is uh, somewhat of a motivator, and I'm thrilled that you came, but I, I wonder why. Well, it's, it's a great question, and it's a fair question, and the answer was uh, uh, because Robert Jackson did very much uh, get me through some very tough times uh, over three years of uh, literally uh, living in hell. And uh, you know, his inspiration and his, uh, uh, the way he did his business uh, were, was very much uh, on my mind a great deal. So to honor the man uh, and have the opportunity to do this on the 60th anniversary of Nuremberg, uh, uh, I had no, no trouble uh, deciding when you called me uh, uh, several weeks ago to, to join this effort. Uh, it was not a problem at all. The fact that other friends are here and other colleagues are here uh, was, uh, is really icing on the cake, but my sole motivation was to come because I thought that it was the right thing to do, actually. Chief American Prosecutor at an International Military Tribunal is a title which only two people have ever had, Robert H. Jackson and David Crane. Uh, is that a weight? Uh, it's a privilege. Yeah. Uh, it, Yes, certainly there's a weight, because one is I do not hold myself out to be even close to uh, the measure of the man, but he certainly was uh, uh, someone to, uh, to follow in his footsteps and try to emulate, uh, and uh, to have the privilege of, uh, of trying to seek some type of justice uh, to over 1.2 million destroyed human beings uh, in a world that was largely indifferent to what took place over 10 long years. Uh, uh, is important to a lawyer. Any any lawyer with his worth his salt uh, would have done the same thing I did. Who did the Sierra Leone trial, in your experience, add to that that pathway? Well, there's a couple things. One is is that uh, uh, the mandate has to be workable. Uh, the mandate was workable at Nuremberg, and therefore it succeeded. The mandate in Yugoslavia and, and Rwanda is not workable, and they're struggling. Uh, Despite the hard work of wonderful people, the, the mandate is a very difficult one to achieve and to plan. Uh, but the mandate for the International Tribunal in Sierra Leone was a correct one. The international community got it right, and that is prosecute those who bear the greatest responsibility for war crimes and crimes against humanity. So one of the uh, legacies of the special court will be that uh, if you have a proper mandate, you can have a proper tribunal. Second. Uh, stone in the stream, so to speak, is, uh, and this by which one can cross that, that stream, is placing the tribunal at the scene of the crime. It's incredibly important uh, so that the victims, what this is all about, uh, will be able to see justice develop in front of their eyes, and they, it'll develop a renewed respect for the law. It has to be there, uh, and it allows, you know, for some practical reasons as well. Uh, you have your witnesses there, you have your evidence there, what have you. There's some challenges, of course, indeed, security and those types of things, and just living in places that are beyond belief. But that's also one of the legacies and hence one of the, the crossing stones uh, in the stream. Another one is, is that a truth commission and a special court or an international tribunal can exist and are critical to each other and actually uh, help build a sustainable peace. It's a very simple mathematical formula for me, A plus B equals C, truth, justice equals sustainable peace. A fourth one is, is that an outreach program is absolutely essential as well. People have to be told what's going on with their tribunal and uh, that was something that I intuitively uh, sensed from the very beginning and uh, literally walked the entire countryside, every town, every district, and holding town hall meetings standing up in front of my client by the tens of thousands, listening to them tell me what took place, uh, what they thought of all of this, and I think that also is another critical aspect of, uh, of what the uh, of this International Tribunal in Sierra Leone will deal. So that it, you've got four very key rocks across that, uh, that stream, which uh, I think will, will again, from Nuremberg moving forward, uh, will be a, uh, will get us across that stream.